Hi, welcome to episode 5. In this episode we're going to tighten up the drum beats on the track, uh, the break beats specifically, and we're going to introduce the vocals to the track. So let's try it with the house, house percussion. This bit here, house beat. That's the loop, came out of the sample pack. It says it's 128 beats per minute, which is the tempo we're playing at, so it should fit perfectly. But let's zoom in on it and have a look, just check. Never just chuck it in and not look. Get the scissors out, turn it on to quantize. Zoom in a bit more. Looks like it might be alright. Ah, but it's not. Look, it's, it's early. So turn the snap off, which is J. See, so you get the sample pack, even though it says it's the same tempo. All those little clangs don't help the track. You want it as tight as possible. And then you can do minute little time stretches, which are not noticeable. But they just tighten everything up and make it sound really nice. Like this one, this is early. So you'll get a boom boom when it plays against the other drums. Sound like pots and pans. Like I say, this might well be cue base, but the same rules apply in every sequencer. Right. Snap back on. Time stretch mode. I want to make this 64. Let's make it 128. Get that there. Stretch it out. Just budging things around so they don't clang against the other sounds. Because when you're playing your track, you're every sound playing at once, the bass, the kick, the snare, the vocal, everything is fighting for space. Music tends to normally work in fours, so don't fight it. <laughs> you want to make your track DJ friendly. If it's DJ friendly, 
DJs are more likely to play it if it's not DJ friendly and they have a trouble mixing it because of any time stretching or time signature problems that you've created they're less likely to play it which means your track won't get played which you probably want your track geared out whether that's on radio or in a gig so it benefits you to make it as playable as possible okay do now is we're going to glue that together as one block. Thing we should chuck in there is the sample pack from Vengeance comes in with a vocal. Uh, the vocal's at 140 beats per minute, we're at 128. So this is the chorus 1 2, verse 1 2. So let's grab them, move them into the track. Take it back over here. Now we have a housey sort of beginning bit. This will be interesting to see how this sounds now. I haven't actually listened to the words. It's called Take Me Away. First two are chorus. Okay. Piano break there. So we'd want a chorus on the piano break. That makes sense. Chuck these out of the way. Let's get this up here. to its thing.
simple, but it's sounding quite nice now with the vocal chucked in on there. Um, let's see what this sounds like here. these vocals chucking it in. Sounds quite cool though. Right. Back to the intro bit. But even though it's just random and it's all bits chucked together, it's starting to sound very much like a a thing. <laughs> save now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck in a group channel 
call it vocal. So I've got four different channels of vocals there playing. Things are rough. You could probably do the same thing with the vocal as you have done with the drums and cut it up, slice it, move it around a little bit because it's a 140 BPM vocal originally. I've time stretched it to 128. It's not going to be perfect for a quick thing. It sounds nice just thrown in there like that. Um, but you could spend as much time going in there cutting it up. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions and requests, I read all the comments and I will reply. Sound off down below. If you um, like what you see and you want to watch more, click the links now. If you want to sub for dubs, up in the top corner. And I'll see you in the next episode. So easy to